dish. Today I have a very special guest with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Frank. I wanted to introduce you to my pug. Mm -hmm. And he thought it would be a good idea if we did this tag together. He's been watching the Beauty Fairy tag with me, watching all of your tags, and he found this very intriguing. And being the handsome devil that he is, he had a lot to say about his wishes for the beauty fairy. So I think we should just get started. The first question is, your beauty fairy says you can try a product that you've wanted to try but it's out of your budget. What do you choose? Okay, for me, I would say creme de la mer, the original cream. I don't think I would ever buy that unless I came into a lot of money, but I would totally take it from the beauty fairy. Or, this is sort of cheating, but I would like to try the whole SK2 line, but not just one product. I want the whole line. Okay. So Frank, what about you? What's the budget? Oh yeah, Frank doesn't have a budget because he doesn't have a job, so we'll go on to the next question. Okay, your beauty fairy is giving you one luxury beauty product to have for free for the rest of your life. What do you choose? Okay, I, you know how sometimes you read in a magazine interviewing a celebrity or something and it says um, she uses creme de la mer on her entire body? I would want to be that obnoxious celebrity and I want like a luxe, like, facial anti-aging cream that I could have in endless supply to put on my entire body. So that's my answer. Frank, what would you say? He's down here, but he's not in frame. Mm -hmm. You say peanut butter? But that's not an anti-aging product. Mm -hmm. You just want an endless supply of peanut butter? That's his favorite food. Okay, so we have Frank's answer. What would be your three wishes for miracle products from the beauty fairy? Okay, so miracle products? Obviously, um, I want the wrinkle eradicator. I want to be able to like zap any wrinkles that I have or will get in the future permanently, of course. I want a pigment genie. So anytime I get like a new hyperpigmentation sunspot issue, it just goes away with the pigment genie. And my last one would be <laughs> would be something that I would call the miracle hat, which is a hat-like thing that you put on your head in the morning and it takes maybe like, I don't know, maybe like in three to five minutes, your hair is cleaned, dried, and styled in the manner of your choice, and you look like a movie star. That's what I want. Okay, Frank, you, what would you have miracle product? He says he would have a nose full genie, because you see his little flat nose? Pugs have to have their nose folds cleaned because like dirt gets up in there, it's really gross, and like the genie would clean it like in an instant. Okay, and next question is, your beauty fairy has given you $100 to spend on beauty today, what are you going to buy? Okay, okay I, this is not makeup, it's sort of beauty, but I was in Saks Fifth Avenue yesterday just um, window shopping in the fragrance department and beauty, and I would buy a bottle of Diorella, which is a perfume that I am just smitten with, and a bottle is like 90. I really wish my birthday were coming up, but it's not, so, <laughs> so I might have to wait on that. Um, Frank, what would you buy? Frank, what would you buy? You don't know? You're perfect as you are? That's right. Okay. The beauty fairy has given you a day at the spa. What treatments do you choose? Oh, Frank, you have an answer for this one, don't you? Okay. Frank says he would choose a spiffy new haircut and an ear massage because he likes when you do this to his ears. Like, he'll, if you stop doing it, he puts his hand on you, so you start again. All right, your beauty fairy is sending you back in time so you can give your younger self beauty advice. <laughs> what advice do you give? Okay, I would definitely tell my younger self, do not go short, um, as in short hair. A couple times in my life, I've gotten not like a pixie cut, but a short haircut. And with my face shape, just no. It's just, and my hair texture with this like weird, curly, fuzzy, frizzy. I would also tell myself, um, don't try to be blonde. Um, in my late, tw maybe my mid-twenties, I decided it would be fun to try to be blonde, and it just ruined my hair. It was like my hair never was soft and nice again until I just chopped it in another short haircut that was not the worst, but still not, not my thing. So that was an ill-advised move. Um, Frank, what would you tell... Frank is still here. What would you tell your younger puggy self? Mm -hmm. Okay, from today, the beauty fairy is giving you a new beauty skill. What would you choose? 
okay, to be really good at doing my hair, especially braiding, um, I want to be able to do like braids and hairdos like Mallory1712. Um, she's, she's the best hair person, I think, about like styling your hair. So I would love that. I can't do anything with my hair. Um, next question, and I think this is the last question. The Beauty Fairy says you can steal a facial feature from one of your favorite YouTubers. Do you accept? If so, what facial feature and from whom? Well, of course I'm going to accept for the purposes of this tag, but, um, okay, I have serious, okay, this is not a facial feature, but I think it counts anyway. I have big hair envy for, like, pretty much everyone. I'm just, I, I'm like, I want her hair. How could she have such great hair? And I have such bad hair, and it's, I covet hair. Um, Lisa SC09 on YouTube has the most long, lustrous, thick brown hair. I, I love her hair. Um, who else did I say? Oh, and, and uh, there's a lot of people. Um, Tara Michelle has really great hair. Oh, there's, uh, there's, there's so many of you beautiful ladies with fabulous hair. Okay, um, Frank, well, you don't really know anyone on YouTube. Oh, what? You do? You do? Oh, Frank says that he thinks that Lily Lemoncella, uh, lipstick Vanessa's dog, has a very cute little nose. So if, you know, he were playing along, he would like her nose. And he does. He does have a very flat nose, so I could see why he would say that. And he also thinks that Andrea Matalano's pugs, Kenny and Charlie, have very distinguished facial wrinkling, which is a very big deal for pugs. Did you know that in China they bred pugs to have their facial wrinkles in the form of Chinese characters? It was crazy. So he thinks they have very nice facial wrinkles. All right, that does it for us and the Beauty Fairy tag. Um, I, I don't know if anyone officially tagged me for this. If you did, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not aware of it or I forgot. I'm sorry, but this was a fun tag and I wanted to do it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Frank definitely enjoyed finally meeting all of you for the very first time ever. So um, I don't know if he'll make an appearance again. He doesn't really like being on my lap. And it's really hard to get him in frame with his camera. <laughs> so. So, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Look at the camera. Will you look at the camera? Oh. Mr. Mr. Quincy. Mm. <laughs>